This is Lazarus. Lazarus is a custom craft ambassador from the 1960s that survived a house fire where many guitars were completely destroyed, but by a miracle, this guitar survived. I assure you, no artificial relicking has taken place. The patina on this beautiful instrument is very real. This guitar has all the original parts besides the tuners, which are Clues and Deluxe inline tuners, uh, the wooden floating bridge, and its tailpiece, which I was told by the previous owner is a Gibson vibrato, but don't quote me on that. It has a humbucker-sized single-coil pickup, similar if not the same to the pickup that comes in many Supero guitars. It has a Brazilian rosewood fretboard and a nitrocellulose or nitrocellulose adjacent finish that has just aged in the most gorgeous way. If you've never heard of a custom craft ambassador, you're not alone. I had never heard of them before I bought this guitar. Essentially, Custom Craft is a sister company of Valco, better known as Supro. And in the 60s, they came out with a few guitars, one of which was the Ambassador. It had a steel beam running through the neck rather than the usual truss rod. The idea behind this was so that the user would never have to worry about adjusting the neck. Sadly, a lot of these guitars have been rendered unplayable today from the neck warping over time. Thankfully, this one, while still having a bent neck, is relatively playable. Out of all the guitars that I've played and owned, this thing is undoubtedly one of the most unique, one of the most personified guitars I've ever played. This thing is truly, undoubtedly, a one-of-a-kind piece.
Okay, so this thing is great and all, but I do have a few gripes with it, uh, including, like I said earlier, uh, because there's no truss rod in this thing, uh, the neck over time just warps forward, and uh, a lot of these are completely unplayable. This one is playable, but the action is definitely higher than I would like it. Uh, but it is playable. Uh, also, if I hit like a really big bend, sometimes this uh, wooden floating bridge, since it's not attached with anything except for just the pressure of the strings, sometimes it'll like shift upwards or down, you know. Uh, also, this knob, it had a knob on here whenever I got it, uh, but it popped off one day. And for some reason, I haven't been able to get a new knob on it. It's just like too big or something. And it, a, a new knob just will not go on it. So I just pushed them Sharpie and wrote a 10. <laughs> hey, it works. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. This thing is pretty loud. Uh, unplugged, though. You're listening to me through my mic up here, which you might not be able to see, but wonder if it picks this up. It's pretty loud. Uh, it's not as loud as the hollow body or anything, but for a solid body electric, this thing resonates pretty well. Another gripe I have with this thing is just the general pickup placement. Uh, it does tend to get in the way of my picking a little bit. Not a huge deal, but I mean, it's, it's noticeable. Also, every now and then, the uh, B string will get caught on the pull piece. And I'll have to like pull it off. Don't know why that happens, but it does. Uh, the fret works decent. I mean, like it doesn't ring perfectly, but I mean, I feel like this thing is just... A guitar that you play because you want to feel the personality of the guitar. You know, I don't feel like I would necessarily record a record with this thing. Well, I mean, I might, but ne necessarily I wouldn't in this scenario. Simply because I don't feel like I can play at my best while playing this thing. Just because of these little things here and there that just limit me musically in some ways but it is still a gorgeous guitar it sounds amazing and it's just a treat to play so yeah i also ended up getting this other custom craft ambassador in a sunburst finish uh same thing except this one doesn't have almost any of the parts it's really just the body, the neck, and the tailpiece that you put the, the strings into. But, you know, if this YouTube channel thing ends up taking off more and stuff, and I can start making money off of it, maybe one day we can make a video restoring this thing. I think that would be pretty cool. But anyways, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, I feel like this has been one of my better videos. You know, I like the the musical section I did at the beginning. I might start doing that more often. Uh, but yeah, this is only like the, the sixth or something video on the channel. And it's been grow growing pretty well considering I don't have many videos up. Uh, I've gained like 12 subscribers in the last two days, even though I haven't really uploaded anything. And I average anywhere between like 600 and a thousand views for most of my videos and that's just crazy to me and I just want to thank you guys that's awesome and I'm gonna keep making content for you guys so if you like this video go check out my other ones they are pretty similar to this uh if you like them consider subscribing it means the most and I'll see you guys in the next one